Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. It's time for another round of me talking for a long time. Yep, you know you like it. So here's the deal. We're back at Warseer, and I'm going to give you amazing insights into uh, rumors that are otherwise really just all over the place. And uh, by that, of course, I mean maybe not so much. So uh, here's all your threads. Obviously, uh, the big, or at least the first five. Uh, the big news here is a uh, huge 40K and Hobbit release list. So let's go ahead and go to that. Oh yeah, this is, this is pretty amazing. Apparently, um, this comes from the one ring .net, uh, that deals with the Hobbit, but guess what? Uh, here's all the 40K releases and it's a lot. Um, and I think it's uh, probably like three. Okay, so we've got this incredible list. I believe it's for the next three months. And uh, here you go. It's, yeah, it's, it's a lot of stuff. So you have Space Marines, um, Scouts with Grenade Launcher. That's a plastic box. Um, Space Marine Astartes Battle Fortress Defense Wall. Plastic box, land raider size, space marine, battle fortress, tower, pillar of heroes, plastic box, land raider size, uh, space marine fortress monastery, plastic box, oversize. It sounds like they're doing something for the um, what's that called? The like the dark angels uh, fortress of redemption. Of course, that's all dark angels. Uh, so I think they're probably doing something uh, more um, generic. Uh, Space Marine Neophytes, uh, plastic box, in infantry size. Uh, neophytes are from the Black Templars range, so this would play into the idea that uh, there's going to be Black Templars. And um, so the Neophytes are like basically Black Templar scouts, except for in the previous codexes, they're, they're mixed in with regular units. Uh, next up is Space Marine Tech Marine with Artificer Squad. Plastic box, infantry size. I have no idea what that is. Uh, Space Marine Tax Squad. Now this is interesting because the old Tax Squad has not been redone for many, many years. So the interesting question will be, are they actually redoing the good old Space Marine after uh, 15 years? And wouldn't that be something? Because now, oh now, please replace all your Space Marines. Yay! Uh, Space Marine Bike Squadron, Crusader Bike Squadron. I'm going to guess uh, Crusader Bikes has reference to Black Templars. Space Marine Land Reader, Medusa. I have no idea what that deal is. Again, if they're coming out with, uh, if they're not redoing the Space Marine book, uh, which, of course, we would have heard about that, uh, this is really points towards Black Templars. Uh, oh, no. No, no, no. I'm completely wrong. What, what am I thinking? Of course, it's Dark Angels. Ha. Huh. A little, uh, little embarrassed there. Space Marine Sky Shatter Cannon, question mark. Uh, that's fine cast, according to this. Space Marine Gale Claw Supremacy Fighter. Uh, that sounds like uh, maybe a, a flyer. So, uh, all right, Space Marine Sword Brethren Night Flame Veteran Squad. Wait a minute, Sword Brethren are Black Templars. Uh, uh, but, you know, maybe they're uh, repurposing that for... Um, Dark Angels. Uh, Space Marine uh, Praetor War Machine. I have no idea what that is. Uh, Space Marine Librarian with Jump Pack is fine cast. Space Marine Terminator First Hand, fine cast. Uh, Space Marine Defender Upgrade Pack. Wow, okay. Space Marine Bionics Upgrade Pack. Um, by the way, I think the Defender, I, I'll just bet you that's, um, that's uh, going to be guns. So, probably some special kind of gun. Space Marine Land Avenger. Space Marine Land Avenger Vulcan Land Avenger Evictus. Oh, this is just, like, this is just, like, complete model-gasm here. It's just so much stuff. Iron Father Malthan. Chapter Master Tushan. Space Marine Librarian Epistolary. Paladin Marshal Sieghelm. Severus Agamon. Regent of Ultramar, Helveticus the Ancient, Bearer of Honor. What? What does all this mean? Okay, uh, 201 range. 
Orc War Buggy Def Racer. Uh, by the way, uh, Orc War Buggy is like is so old. Oh, it's just that model is so bad. It's amazing. Okay, uh, here it is. Uh, this is an Orc War Buggy, the published model, and it is oh, it's it's an embarrassment to society. Really, let's let's not let's let's not dwell on that uh, too long. Okay, Orc Orc Def Coptas, That's probably just a rebox of uh, what comes in the Assault on Blackreach set, which of course, when they come out with the new 40K set, that is that they will get rid of that. Orc Gun Fortress Mega Teleporta. Now that's awesome. See, you're starting to see a lot of these uh, terrain kits, which I think is really cool. Uh, Orc Mega Knobs Pain Boy Cyborgs, a plastic box. Oh my gosh, when are these coming? These have to be releases that coincide with codexes. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to say. In fact, I'm going to scroll down and see if what sort of comments are on this. Because, uh, yeah, this will have Warseer boiling for the next year or so. By the way, that is uh, for sure. Quite literally almost spilled my morning coffee. If accurate, implies a new Sisters of Battle Codex. That's amazing. Some releases of SOB. I'm going to cry. Uh, someone will be in a huge amount of trouble for this. That's what, uh, that's for sure. Um, there's a real lack of Dark Angel themed releases in that list, unless things like First Hand Terminators or Praetor War Machine are new Dark Angel stuff. So there you go. Land Raider Medusa. Yeah, this is, this is, this is really, really amazing. So, uh, some great some stuff, 40k stuff for Sisters, Tau. Chaos Space Marines, Space Marines, Eldar Orcs, Dark Eldar, Black Templars, Imperial Guard. By the way, this is probably more like a year's worth of releases. Um, okay. Or, or it's just literally too good to be true. It's just some kind of totally foolish thing. But I don't know. It feels, it feels right to me. Orc Clan Fort, Orc Boar Squigs, Orc Squigatar, Orc Warhead, Warped, rather. Orc Pain Boy with Cleva Harness. Uh, Orc Grot Nurses. <laughs> Wazdok of Gutsmack. Uh, that's a famous one. Gorbuzz, Three Eye, Grit Leg, Max Mesh, Boss Commissar, Grotsky. Uh, Imperial Guard Stormtroopers. Imperial Guard Hydra. Now, what's interesting here is Imperial Guard Hydra. Uh, most Imperial Guard tanks, in fact, I'm pretty sure all of them, make two things now. Uh, I think an exception would be the. Um, would be the, uh, whatever it is, the uh, Hellhound. Aww. So uh, here we go. Uh, Chaos Bike Squadron, Chaos Thousand Suns, Chaos Noise Marines. Now, this is interesting. There's hardly anything here for Chaos. Uh, okay, Eldar. Now I gotta talk about this. Avatar of Cain, fine cast, 09 size. I don't know what that means. Lamia Strike Fighter, Moon Siren Bomber. Wow, okay, thank you, please. Uh, Eldritch Raiders. Okay, now let's go back to this. Obviously, it's some kind of flyer, uh, and it makes two things. That's in line with those types of releases. Um, like the Orc Bomba makes, I think, three different things at least. Uh, the uh, Dark Eldar. Um, well, I guess the Dark Eldar thing is technically just a Razor Wing, so I always thought of it as a double for the uh, Void Raven. Um, you've got the uh, Necron uh, Night Scythe, Doom Scythe, that makes two things. So uh, here we go, uh, Eldar Webway Gate, uh, that's obviously a terrain thing. Eldar Phoenix Lord Nuadu, the Fireheart, uh, that is, um, uh, used to be, I'm pretty sure, a special character for Same Han back when uh, they had the uh, Eldar Craft World book. Uh, Eldar Spirit Warrior, I'm going to just betcha... Well, it says plastic box Land Raider size, so I don't know what to say about that. Because uh, I, I always look for patterns, like, you know, uh, for example, in Warhammer Fantasy, they put out a kit that makes two large, you know, chariot-sized things. So Spirit Warrior, uh, Land Raider size, probably some kind of mega um, Wraith Lord thing. So, you know, uh, if I had to guess, I'd say Wraith Lords would probably have their... Force Org loosened up, and uh, so Eldar Jet Bikes, that'll be really nice. My prediction there is uh, they will be um, 
crotch rocket style uh, where they are actually kind of leaned over the front of the jet, bu jet bike. They'll make them sleeker. There's, there was some kind of prototype out there for a long time. Elder Dragon Riders. Now, uh, you old timers will remember uh, the Exodite Knights, uh, that there were uh, dragon riding Eldar, kind of like a subsect of Eldar that actually lived uh, on planets and not craft worlds. Uh, so the Exodites, uh, literally uh, coming from the root word Exodus, uh, were Eldar who uh, left uh, the Eldar homeworlds uh, early on before the troubles start. Okay, Eldar Wraithguard Cataphracts, uh, that makes sense to me. That's along the lines of the, um, the Lichguard Praetorians for um, Necrons. Same thing with um, making death marks and immortals. Sky Chariots Shining Spears, wow. All I can say is wow. I bet they change up Shining Spears to be like bigger or different looking because if it's going to make something that's described as a chariot, uh, that is really going to be something different. Uh, Warp Spiders Everguard, plastic box, that'll be nice. Now, if you look at old Eldar sculpts, the Warp Spiders have been around since I started playing, and they have received no update. So it'll be nice to have come some kind of uh, separate you know, thing for them that's plastic. And uh, also what hasn't been redone is Wraith Guard. And that's what I'm really not seeing on here. I'm wondering if the Spirit Warriors up there are Wraith Guard. And, uh, but wh why would, how many are coming in a Land Raider bo size box? So there's that. Uh, Black Warden, Fine Cast, some kind of hero type. Uh, now you have all these Zentarks. Now here's what's interesting is th it's been... Th the rules have always been a little schizophrenic about the Phoenix Lords. Are they powerful or are they within the realm of mortals? Uh, do, what do you do with them? Do they, do they join units of their, uh, of their own type, uh, like a Sermon or a Jane Czar or whatever it is? Uh, so what do you do with those? So you have, um, at first you had uh, Exarchs, uh, which are like squad leaders. And then in the most recent Eldar book, recent meaning I think eight years old now, like I, I, was, I was teaching when the last Eldar book came out. It's ridiculous. And so Eldar are so cool and they've just been completely neglected. Eldar, as you know, are my favorite army. They were my first army. They're still uh, amazing. If I had to make one army before I died, it would be Eldar. I've got some really good ideas for that. And uh, people that I've told about it thought it was cool. So there you go. Or, uh, or they just didn't want to offend me. So anyway, Zentarks uh, seem like it'd be like the next step up. Somewhere between an Autark and a Phoenix Lord would be my prediction. Avatar of the Young King. Eldar Warlock with Force Staff. I'd love to see the Warlocks redone. Doesn't look like they're getting plastics. Eldar Swooping Hawks, fine cast. You know, are they just going to use the same old Eldar Swooping Hawks? Not a problem with me. Phoenix Lord Kaimedok, the Plane Twister, question mark. Okay, Dark Eldar get a grotesque squad. Uh, Tau, a Nautilus defense platform. That's a plastic box. Land Raider side, again with the uh, whatever it is. The, the terrain. Sorry, got distracted there. Commander Farsight, Tau Empire Mako. That goes along with all their uh, uh, their vehicles being named after sea animals, uh, like the Hammerhead, the Piranha, uh, whatever it is. Mako obviously is reference to a Mako shark. Uh, Vespid Stingwings, Spine Wings. Hey, I'd love to see those guys make an actual comeback and be good. Okay, uh, next on we've got Bloodthirster Plastic. Lord of Change plastic, wow. Uh, Chaos Demon's Warp Stalker's Furies, neat. Great Unclean One pla plastic, Keeper of Seekers plastic. So as some of you may recall, the original Bloodthirster was about an inch and a quarter tall and came in the Hero Quest box and was actually uh, really, really, really pathetic. Okay, so uh, this, oh, actually, uh, you know, this is actually pretty well done. The first... Bal, uh, not Balrog. Of course, the Bloodthirster is inspired by 
uh, the Balrog. Let me see if I can just find the thing. Th there he is, right there in the back. This is a, probably a uh, 25 millimeter base. And th this was the guy. Uh, he's pretty pathetic. He came in Hero Quest. So there you go, cult classic. And uh, then uh, what did we go up to? We went up to this guy. This is on a 40 millimeter base. That's kind of what he looked like. Um, and he was still uh, he was still pretty pathetic, about the size of an obliterator, I guess. Uh, that, that's one that's painted up real nice. And then the current edition is this guy. It looks looks a bit like a dog, and uh, extremely heavy. There's like a ton load of pewter in there. Sculpted really weird. Some people did some really good stuff with it, but you know, there's that. And, uh, and then you have this guy. This guy is from uh, Forge World, and he's amazing. Uh, this guy's like eight inches tall, nine inches tall, and uh, that model's just through the roof. Probably costs about $120, $150. And uh, so, oh, 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 hey, this is stuff that I still have. Uh, I'm not ready to show you yet. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's go on with. So that's the Greater Demons. All the Greater Demons have different uh, incarnations that were increasingly. Uh, pathetic. Okay, so uh, Sisters of Battle. Uh, I don't know if the codex is going to be called Sisters of Battle or um, whatever. Uh, interesting item here because, uh, you know, this is kind of going on a ways and I'm getting a little tired and want to move to the next thing. Uh, is Crew Talks. Isn't that neat? Who knows what those guys are about? Oh, no, wait, I'm at the end. So, a bunch of Sisters of Battle stuff. Um, you know, I'd say this probably has a 15% chance of just being a tease, uh, but uh, boy, what what an absolute tease it is! Yeah, thank you to whoever posted that. Okay, we're we're still on Warseer. We're going over to the uh, Warriors of Chaos rumors, uh, and I just wanted to skim a few points. Uh, first off, apparently it's going to rehash the old Chaos Invades from the North theme. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, I almost passed out hearing that exact same old storyline again. Uh, you know, seriously, I'm really sorry. You know, they, and they did the same thing in Throne of Tamurkan, and it's, it's just the same, you know... How about one where Empire finally gets sick of it all and decides to go invade Chaos Lands or something? You know, it just... I don't know. I just can't do it. Like, literally, I think I'm going to pass out from how dumb that storyline is. And you guys know me. I'm not, I'm not very negative, but uh, that just really makes me want to go away. But it doesn't matter. You know, you play your games and uh, storyline or whatever, you know, just uh, you can just go about your business. So uh, what's interesting to me is the releases here. You got Plastic Chariot War Shrine, fantastic, and that's perfectly consistent with all the releases. The whole uh, Mortis Engine Coven Throne thing for vampire counts or whatnot. Uh, and uh, so it says large kit with options for each of the Chaos Gods, uh, sculpted to be on the same base size as the War Altar. So fantastic, monstrous cavalry unit. Um, that is, uh, that absolutely makes sense. Uh, Dragon Ogres would be a release that made sense, that's for sure. Um, Plastic Dragon Ogres, that's kind of a repeat. Uh, but I bet uh, they will do something different. Like, uh, like Empire got Demigriff Knights that didn't really exist before, uh, except kind of as a vague background type of thing. So uh, here we go. Uh, more and more about um, Dragon Ogres. The very old ones uh, are just absolutely terrible. They make me sad just looking at them. In fact, why don't, why don't I show you? All right, uh, thank goodness for uh, Google Images. Uh, so, you know, a lot of good conversions here. Uh, this is it, this is on a 40. These are awful. These are so old and awful that they just, uh, please, please redo them. I would never feel these figures in a million years. Uh, they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty pathetic, actually. So here we go. Um, so Dragon Ogres, Chaos Dragon Kit, fine cast characters, of course, Throg, the scroll, th Troll King. My prediction is no Throg, uh, because it's, he's just such an oddball thing to have in the list. You know, he's not good on his own, and he's really good if you want to do a troll list, but troll list has like, you know, things with it. 
like inherent weaknesses. Mostly if your general dies, you're kind of hosed. Uh, you've got a bunch of leadership force stupid creatures running around. Of course, with, um, with a high leadership character in there, so I don't know. Will, will they really, do, they either need to do something with the trolls or not do with the trolls. Okay, Archeon has been remodeled is apparently amazing. Yeah, that's great, but you know, he's been done. Valkia the Bloody, that'll be nice. Uh, Egrim Van Horseman, fantastic, I'm ready. Dragon Sculpt, uh, um, rumored here. Uh, Zotes for Chaos, uh, no thank. Uh, Zotes are, yeah, I just don't think there's, that's a thing. So bring it on, uh, let's look at some of the comments. I believe this post may have given, may have given me the vapors, says Bar Guest. Good for him. All right, uh, let's move on. Uh, we're now going to a site called Bane Lords, and I just want to, in case you didn't know this existed, I want you to go here and look at it. Uh, this is basically a website, and they just they make specialty figures, and they are really absolutely super. Like, look at this, and they have weird names too. Uh, I guess that gets, you know. Uh, here we go, Galwich Ladlaw. So check that guy out. That's awesome. Now, if you look at the base here and you look at the ratio of thickness to length, you can kind of guess what base is on. I guess this guy's on a 50, so he's probably uh, like greater demon size. How cool is that sculpt? And he's uh, 30 pounds. By the way, British pound is just over a uh, time and a half US dollars. So in case you're ever wondering the conversion rate, check this out. I'm, 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 now gonna, I'm now gonna help you out. You go to Google, you go USD, GBP, conversion, or exchange rate, you can go conversion, converter, there you go. So uh, you just, wait, I'm still on images, let's go to search. So there you go, it just tells you right, right there. So uh, $1 is worth 63, 0.63, uh, British pounds. You can go down here to XE Universal Currency, and uh, so basically you just go, um, you know, uh, one pound, gold British pound to US dollars. So let's go 30 because that's how much he costs, and uh, currency convert. So that's basically 47 US dollars right here, and that is uh, XE.com. That is really a absolutely great. Uh, site to go to. So uh, back to this guy. Ooh, yeah, you just got a glimpse of what's to come. So lots of really cool stuff on here. Um, I just, yeah, it's just, it's a giant spread of absolute eye candy. It's really cool. Let's look at this guy. Eric, one arm. Come on. Come on, just load. Look at that guy. Some kind of steampunk dwarf guy. Banner bear. How neat is that? Seriously. Right? All right, let's uh, move on. So check out uh, Bane Lords. Uh, oh, there's that guy we already saw. I want to show you this guy. This guy's on a 25 mil. So he's like this uh, bestial type man creature. I'd, I'd replace this uh, weapon head there. Something for my bits probably. But he's good. He's a standalone. He's about 16 bucks US dollars. So uh, let's get rid of that. Ah! Now we're on to Forge World. Uh, these are Acanthrites. And uh, when Forge World comes out with something new, you're gonna want to, um, you're gonna want to uh, look down here for experimental rules. And uh, so they get rid of the experimental rules once they publish them in a book. So what you wanna do is you wanna go there. It opens up as a PDF. And you're gonna want to, to save this as soon as humanly possible. So you got the Akinthrites. Uh, they are, I do believe, um, wow, should we go back to look at the price? Let's do. So uh, these guys are pretty cool. They have a cutting beam, which is a uh, 12 inch range, strength six, AP two, assault one, melta. They're a fast attack choice, decent stat line, and they are uh, 40 some odd points each for those. And uh, they're really cool. I recommend you go to the Forge World site and uh, look at them. They cost uh, 36 pounds. 
Uh, again, time and a half uh, would probably put them around uh, $54. And uh, so that means probably about $18 a figure. So they, they are pretty expensive, but they are really cool figures. Uh, here's a size comparison there. So, um, and you know, a, a box of, uh, what are they called? Canoptic rates are about 40. So uh, there's that. Oh, that's nice. Application error. Hey, let's go to Infinity. Uh, just wanted to remind you that Infinity exists. And uh, it is an extremely exciting game. Uh, it's just really, really neat. Um, they, uh, yeah, I've never played it. Uh, but uh, I do love the models. The guys around the studio have really enjoyed it. And I definitely plan on learning how to play it uh, really soon. Hey, buy some D20 for Infinity. Good job, guys. Got to sell some dice. And uh, terrain, for, oh, micro art studio. So this is laser cut terrain. This is really good. They do it where there's like layers and layers. Uh, micro art studio. In fact, uh, they're they're my next stop here. Um, I've heard rumors that there's been like a division among the two partners, but I really don't know anything about that. And apparently they're still up and uh, running. Hold on a second. Why don't I turn off? Okay, did find this little tidbit on the micro art studio site. Look at the bottom. Discworld miniatures coming. Uh, I'm a fan of Discworld. Uh, one of my favorite movies is Color of Magic. Uh, my wife calls it my bedtime story because I like to uh, have it on when I'm going to sleep. Uh, nice calming tale. And uh, I like Rincewind. I identify with Rincewind. Uh, like he, <laughs> some, something's looking out for him and uh, keeping him, uh, keeping him above water. So uh, there you go. And if he, if he really tries he can cast uh, one uh, little spell. So uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of really cool guys on here. This is the librarian, Ook. If you Ook so much as one word to this. Uh, two flower, how fun is that? Uh, the luggage, that's from the uh, initial two books. Sergeant Fred Colon, fantastic. Otto Triak, yeah, I don't know a lot of these characters. Death with Guitar. So uh, Discworld's a lot of fun. Uh, Terry Pratchett's, uh, uh, as far as I can tell, he's a good guy. Uh, he's been knighted, didn't you know? And uh, he is, um, he uh, does a lot of uh, work for charities that uh, work on uh, senior dementia, something like that. You'd have to read it up uh, by yourself. So a lot of fun figures there. Uh, evidently micro art studio, um, <laughs> Captain Carrot, fantastic. Angua von Uberwald. Ah, Cohen the Barbarian. Fantastic. Soft lavatory paper. So a uh, micro art studio, they are uh, definitely, definitely quality. Well, it looks like I'm going on 30 minutes, folks. So I am going to take a break. And isn't it lovely to have a no commercials semi podcast thing to, to listen to? Isn't that, isn't that a lot of fun? Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, got something got something out of it.